All right. So tonight's operation is going to be Steel Serpent, a armored operation. We don't run those very often. Hopefully we are able to run it. Uh, feeling that the crash may or may not have been due to something on the lair. Uh, moving on, commands for round one. We have a steel serpent being between the Russians and the British. For the British side, we have command being Decrum, with his two IC being Erasure, his three other SLs being Matt, Honcho, Efank, and Frost. With the, the Russian side's command being Elan Darts, his two IC being Oddball, and his three other SLs being Lemon Sledge, Stretch, and Flame Mage. With those out of the way, let's go over the team loadouts. Team loadouts. For the British side, we have squad or infantry squad level one crewman SL and eight crewmen. Platoon armory is none to start, but there are there seem to be some event rules that I won't be going over. If you want to take a look at that a little bit more in depth, then type in exclamation mark up doc all together, and you can read through the more intricate portions of the operation. Moving on from the inventory section, we're going to move on to the vehicles. Vehicles, two FV4034s and one FV510UA per squad. Uh, let's see here, FOB and logistics. We have one FOB, one Vic repair station, one ammo crate, two tows, two HMGs, and various defensive structures. There are rules that apply to usage for all of these or some of these. Once again, more in-depth stuff that I'm not going to touch on. Support also has rules, but we'll just name off what can be available during the operation. One 155mm artillery creeping barrage, uh, three A-10 airstrikes, and two 155mm smoke barrages. Moving on to the Russian side for tonight. So for the Russians have slightly less than the British when it comes to support. And that's about it. All right. So for the Russians, infantry squad levels, one SL, one crewman SL, eight crewmen. Uh, platoon armory is once again none to start. And there are some rules that pertain to that portion. Vehicles, two T, uh, T-72B3s and one BMP-2 per squad. Uh, FOB and logistics, the same as the British, which was one FOB, one Vic repair station, one ammo crate, two Cornets, and two HMGs with various defensive structures. With that out of the way, give me a moment and I will have us in shortly. Oh, I guess I should have gone a little bit more in detail do, do on get, uh, how this operation is going to roll. So they, uh, objectives from British to Russian. I don't remember seeing British objectives are forward. the British Wait, must capture or sure defend the out supply out outpost. Um, British must defend the location of the radio till yeah, end of round. And for the Russians, ooh, their objective it, is uh, they must in. capture the supply depot and once captured, defend it right, we'll, against we'll the Russians. We or the uh, tank well, tank Russians, the British arrows. assault. All right, hear ye, hear ye. Welcome all to World Tank. So, sorry, I mean Operation Steel Serpent. What we have today is we have a armor-only operation. Our objective today is in order to take the town and the logistics currently located at Juliet 6-5. From that location, we're going to be able to hold off an enemy armor advance that is moving in. How this is going to work is we're going to have two types of squads today. We have a scouting squad, that is squad 4, Matt Honcho. And we have our uh, tank battalion, which is the rest of us, squads 1, 2, and 3. How we're going to be doing is we're going to be rolling two tanks abreast uh, with one, uh, I forgot the name of it. What are they called? Warrior. Warriors? Warrior. We're going to have uh, two tanks and one warrior behind it in pockets of three, so tanks in the front, then the warrior. And each of the squads, with the exception of squad four, are going to be moving down this main road towards these green markers. At this, at this intersection marked with the mine marker we're going to split squad four is going to continue north and take our northern flank pushing west uh to be as effective as possible at 
you know, scouting and flanking the enemy. Squad 4, you are free to dismount one of your vehicles in order to have better uh, vision without being obvious. Squads 1, 2, and 3 in that order will be following Squad 4 in the, orig in the initial column, all turning west at the mine marker. Then we're going to be lining up in a tank line in the following way. So that's squad one on the north side, squad two in the middle, and then squad three on the south side. And we're going to push a tank, uh, tank line through the objective point, clearing out all enemy vehicles. From that time, we will pull back to defend and, you know, push a defend this whole point until the end of uh, the round. Quick information about your tanks. Your tanks today are the Challenger 2. These vehicles have a gun that fires a an 800 damage shell against the 3,000 health enemy. What you need to be doing is you need to be hitting them in the front or in the back. Don't try to hit them in the side. You, will, you may hit the skirt. If you guys all look at the tank over here, you can see just above the tracks there is a skirt. Uh, the enemy tanks also have this skirt. The skirt will take up a bunch of your damage without damaging the tank. If you hit the skirt and then the tank beyond, you'll actually deal less damage than if you hit them in the front. So hit them in the front, the turret, or the back. If you hit them in the turret, they'll have a bad time. Question, what about the lower plate? Uh, if you can, if the lower plate is fantastic, you can hit that. Just hit the front, hit the turret, hit the back. Uh, if that is, if you're going for a kill, I would at all times I want you guys to mobility kill these tanks. If they cannot move, they cannot uh, attack us. So always hit the tracks first. So recap: shoot them in the tracks so they can't move. Shoot them in the front. Shoot them in the back. Any questions, comments, concerns? I've never driven SLs. a tank before. Movement. Break them out. Let's get ready for life. It looks like I'm going to have to reiterate or uh, amend what I said earlier. Yes, it is 100% armor. I misread the op doc. It is not just two tanks, it's two tanks per squad. There are four squads, not counting the command squad. So there are a total of eight tanks on the field alongside alongside uh, one IFV per and now we're going to find out why uh, people don't drive vehicles. Hey, let's make sure those IFVs are getting in positions. of Slinky up there, squad four. Stop. Oh. Stop and wait for the rest of the call. It's mad that they... Do not 
Continue until last man is called. Got a shooter or no. That boy's cringe. Squad four, you're good to go. What Full the call hell? move. Two and three cut early. Go to position. Moving. Uh, this is battle comms. Only require occasions. Mm -mm. Look at those Russians. It's getting all lined up over here. Foggy map, so I'm gonna have to keep my uh, floating in the sky real low. Was that a? All squads hold for a uh, tank line to be established. Relaying just to uh, drop in a up if one up by the time we get her. Copy that, will do. And squad one is holding, ready. Tank one, you're clear to go. Three needs 30 seconds. Okay. Not sure what you're pertaining to, uh, Joni. Smoke launcher question mark? Give me a little bit more in the uh, context of what you mean. At the moment, we've got no Russians Squad near the village. They're all Two, on the north. Western security and three north southern west. security on the village. Yeah, 
Squad Three, squad three if you could south. have your uh, crew and the warrior dismount for shovels. Hey, sir. Good God, this is a weird angle. Squad One is pulling vehicles slightly north. You hold security. Get up there. Fuck you. Copy that. They clearly put more money into the gun than in the tank. Push your tanks further west. Doing that right now. Thank you, Frost. Oh, squad three doing the same, or? No, squad three, you're good. I just don't, didn't want. Squad We're gonna see how the Russian tanks can handle. Roger. It's not the vehicle that causes the the uh, damage; it's the uh, players driving the vehicles. Ah, uh, this is Russia versus versus the British. Got something coming in hot. That's our supplies. Yeah, we have uh, supply okay. drops in for the uh, British. Somebody accidentally left the IEDs in the truck. station is going to be placed on the east side of the village. How's it going? Death Rip, unlo unload another 2,000 supply and 8,000 ammo. Dark, dark okay. back with me. On your six, sir. Alright, looking at the map, it looks like our two MBTs up there to the north. Negative. Getting real close to one of the uh, Russian MBTs. No, that's not even an MBT, that is an IFV for the uh, Russian side. Right there in J3. And then we get the rest of the Russian column kind of split up. We got some in J2 and uh, M3. East. I can see just past the MSR. I have no idea if that dock is correct there. I need a shovel here. That is not the right op dock, so don't follow that link. That's what we have. That is the proper op doc. Follow that link. I think we push. I don't know because our our north. What is that? No, hold on. Southeast is extremely exposed right now. Copy that. Squad three, can you move one of your tanks a little bit further east to check cover that southeast? Roger. They are not at all. I'm looking at the way the British forces have their tanks lined up here. They are expecting them from the west, northwest, and southwest. But they are not expecting a heavy push from the rear. And by rear, I mean anything northeast, east. That is just... That's going to be time for them to reposition themselves. Southeast. Kilo seven three ish or kilo negative seven, squad two. Your guys, your guys, your tanks are holding the west side. If we move you east, we're gonna lose control. Squad defense. Can we get one of your guys in the kilo seven seven grid, and then the kilo one seven, in Julie eight five or so? Yeah. 
Okay, this is one. At this point, it looks like Squad 4 has good control of the peninsula to my northwest. Would you like me to position and watch Eastern City as well? Copy. Yeah, that'd be great. The Copy. Yeah, as the we tank. all can see, there is nothing in the direction at which they are looking. The tank is tilted so. a little bit to the left, so when you shoot, you would need to avoid it. Let's see here. King of Fakes is currently in the worst position because, let's see here, can they see them? They're not even looking in that direction. Let them enjoy. I think the fog might be too thick. Squad 3, what, how easy will your tank push come through that area? Yeah, fog is way too thick for anyone to see that distance. Uh, they are T-72s. They probably have some slight discrepancies in modeling, but uh, it happens with video games. Yep, we are running... Oh, what are they? For the Russian side, T-72B3s and BMP-2s. And for the British side... We are running FV forty thirty fours and FV five ten UAs. Not sure where either team is currently looking. We've got uh, uh there's a lot of open fields to my south. I don't know feelers in the north for the so British looking kind off of kind of west and we have a feeler for the uh, Russians south for them looking east I'm not quite sure what the point of that is but you know I, I guess it works uh, then we've got in the rear here for the British forces we've got one Two. Ah, oh, this fog is killing me. Three, four MBTs staring off in the northeastern direction. I'm not sure how much I like the position of Scottish chaps' uh, tank there. That is very Confirm out in the open. Nobody has seen any contact yet. Zero. Zero contact. All good, Mfank. I... Or... Wow, Mfank. Why did I say that? Kafka. All good. I am not the best at telling tanks by their uh, models at all. Like, zero. Unless it's an Abrams. Then maybe I can do it. Yeah, there you go. Big Rick's got it. <laughs> I only know my uh, my favorite tank, which uh, is honestly the most gas-guzzling one, probably. Actually, I think the Russians might have more. Each person's a different. You like planes, I like ground vehicles. Nah, stop flexing on all of us. Come on. My command comms. It's basically been a, have we really not spawned anything yet? No, that was an ND. <laughs> Did we, we heard an enemy ND or? It was a friendly ND. Uh, no, we had an ND on our side. Uh, while the vehicles With were exploding, somebody panicked. Yes. Oh my god. Well, I mean, that makes <laughs> sense that it's like a four-wheeler. It's just got a track. I think there's only, what, two... Two spokes on each side that are actually driving the uh, the train? Unknown. Yeah, it's friendly. Am I, yeah, I might be incorrect on that. Good. That's been a while since I actually looked at how a tank moves. 
Let's make sure we keep them covered because they're vulnerable with that turret behind. The difference with it is it can it can rotate, you know, in place, and unlike a four wheeler, which kind of requires turning. Okay. And it looks like the Russians are going to start moving closer and closer to the British line here. Question is, who's going to spot who first? I'm thinking... Uh, who do we got here? Names, uh, Frost and Squidward? Three, sorry, Lima oh. three to our north. They have bypassed the recon squad. Copy, Lima 3, Lima 3. Squad 4, rotate. Chavi and uh, Gamer Time Squad Phil, 40, definitely not the best position yeah. here. That's one of our IFVs. That is not going to survive from a tank round. Squad 3, let's rain in some of our some of the tanks so we can react to contact if it's a hold. Squad one, how many? Is uh, yeah, we got, we got right here. The uh, crew is panicking, trying to get an accurate report now. Whoo, that was a close one. Almost took out Javi. Not sure who took the pot shot, but they missed. One times tank. Uh, we do have one time tow. So and we've got tank engagement here Likely between the Russians and the British. We Two tanks versus a sighted T-72. T-72 taking some heavy hits to the turret. And she's smoking, and turret's not rotating very well, which means it's probably got a damaged uh, rotation. Drivetrain, there we go. That's what I was trying to get out there. And one tank down for the for the Russians. Good copy. Squad two, we're going to be taking one vehicle was. Suspect the others are further east. And it looks like our feeler yeah, squad to the north is currently moving in on the BMP-2 over here on the peninsula. One of the peninsulas. It is currently crossing open land. We've got crossfire going on over here between the tanks and the BMPs. We'll go over there in a second. I want to see whether or not these tanks spot that BMP-2. No, it does not look like they're going to see it. God, this squad three. Can you give me a contact report? Oh boy, this uh, this T seventy two is not doing so hot. All everyone. Clear. Squad 3, I need your contact report again, please. Lima 792, one times enemy tank disabled, uh, another one behind it. Copy that, Lima 792, squad another shot, two. straight in. Please rotate your tank. No damage. East. Miss. Lemon Sledge trying, no, Mortar Man trying to maneuver the tank out of the open, get something between him and the enemy. Yeah, he's going a little too far. Oh, straight shot, and down goes Slim and Sledge and Mortar Man. Taken out by Alpha Guido and rather Squash Chaps tanks. Looks like that's two uh, MBTs taken out for the Russians. Looks like we've got uh, Abu Hajar moving up on where rather Squash Chap was sitting at the beginning. Commander, there's a T 72 watching the road south of one. Do you want us and it looks like Nightmare to is taking on. Yes. Is this one MBT and two IFVs? No, I've got one, two, three MBTs versus poor <laughs> Nightmare and Efank over here with Oddball on his rear. Damn. Squad three, direct, uh, direct south. Squad four, move tanks to intercept enemies coming in from southeast. Point. 
Ooh, straight the shot to the turret. There's rock tree. Oh, they're stalled. Oh, there goes the engine. Tossing smoke. Probably. Oh, Efanks the only one who made it out alive. Squad three, recall to base here. Let's get you swapped out for hats. Irving in over here on Zaki and Scav Bob. Do you want my warrior to do anything? They're still with you. One more T72 disabled to the east. Squad two, inform Blue Jericho to return if he needs to. Checking out the map here. It looks supply. like I don't want to lose tanks. Walls and lines have been flattened. Uh, so far my count is the Russians have lost two tanks, the British have lost one tank. I could be wrong on that, I think I just saw a couple of deaths over there, it looks like. May have the Russians lost another Frost, tank. Rotate, your guy, rotate you guys on the north side around to the south to um, back up squad three here. They've got two MBTs yeah, for the Russians down, <laughs> possibly taken out by Alpha Guido here. Fair enough. We have a second BMP to the southeast. Southeast of one. Squad four, I just need you on that road driving straight down to one to reinforce. And we've got crewmen rolling around. Stretch and assault trying to take out rather Scottish chap and shrooms. Scottish taking the chance to hit stretch and assault. Stretch and assault on the backup. Squad one is low on ammo, trying to fall back to repair and rearm. We do have contacts to our south and the Kilo six, Lima six grid. Copy that. Be advised, we have enemy armor approximate 300 to and 400 that is meters east of the village. Another T72 versus a MVT. We have for the British. friendly tanks getting in. And we've got a tank with no tread. That's not good. Happy. Oh, happy glamper taking out one of our MBTs. No, that wasn't. A, that was a uh, IFE. That's a MBT right there. Blue Jericho taken out by. Who was that? I think that was Ducky. Ducky and Flame Mage, possibly. I need tanks on the east side of the village. Frost, that's you. Get him over there. Roger. Alright, let's see what's going on over here at the north, northeast. So we got two MBTs for the uh, British here on the town still. Three on the town. Oh, that's, that's not good. Just shoot off around, overpressure them. Forget, do crewmen have explosives? The tick is stuck again. Um, and nothing I can do on the east side. Just, just shoot. I see him. I see him. I see him. Reverse. <laughs> Run him over. <laughs> oh, that's just that's horrible. We have infantry south southeast of the point, about 200 meters out. Uh, it looks like we got smoke on town over here for the British. British on a run. Advised a reminder: we have two two X HMGs available to be placed. They have not been placed yet. Another round in. Looks like one of the T-72s has been hit and downed. Rather Scottish chap taking a shot from probably Kemchi there. Or Happy Glamper. Happy Glamper possibly. Happy Glamper was right there in the woods, had perfect view. Command this is squad four engaging two against two I wish. Yeah, squad four, we've got contact southwest of you. Sounds like you already know them. We're pushing to engage. 
Squad 3 has infantry direct south of the point. Tiger has a T-72 here. No, T-72 is not down, but it took a nice hit. It did manage to take out the MBT, but we've got another one for the Ru British hitting the Russian tank, Lagar and Oddball. Just go out to my east, breaking hard through the smoke that that one just popped to help finish that kill. Oddball trying to find a place to set up. He's got an MBT right on his front here. We have a T-72 disabled and a pile of three vehicles on squad one lead position. Three times crewmen in the trees around it. Enemy infantry have taken our toes. Enemy infantry have taken our toe position. More attempts to the east side. Oh, wait, we still got a tank out there. Hey, you wanna call my tank in off and fucking grab hat kids, bro? Yeah, so if, they, if they're not scouted, free now, uh, we are just get them out of there. Support soon. We do not see where it came from. I just overpressure him. Need help if you can, Scottish. We're pulling at this point. Stay on him. He's bandaging. He's bandaging. All squads check in. Squad one zero. I'm providing security. I can't find him. I think you're still He's on top underneath of the him. tank. He's like the wrong warrior up in the Did you get him? I got one. I'm getting better. Squad one, how many vehicles Squad do you have? Squad you have a 72 to your west within the FOB perimeter. Flanked my vehicle. Copy. Happy Glamper is just the bush wookie for tanks right now. I don't think he's been able to get taken at all in this forest. But they do know he's there. Squad one, how many Scottish sees him. Scottish takes a shot. Squad I'm not sure if that was an engine hit or not. I have infantry still on the tow position clearing no, that was a forward and hit the skirt. Mm, still hit the Squad skirt. Two. What do you have? And they're bailing. Alright, so squad two, my warrior is gonna be covering the uh, northeast flank right now. Um, that's all I have left. Effectively, actually. that is one more Russian T-72 down. Squad three, how many vehicles do you have? Zero active vehicles remaining. Squad four, how many vehicles do you have? We have one tank engaging infantry right now. Copy that. I did not expect the British forces to pull it around like that. Blow on blow anybody. Just make sure you have a tank ground loaded. Don't have the infantry loaded. Copy. Alright, move us a little to the south into these bushes, at least. God, being a tank is fucking chaotic. Right? One time, C-72, once more, disabled. Oh, oh man. That was a fucking... That was a frog on my warrior. Yeah. Yeah, um, I'm out. Uh, I'm still here. I have a hand kit, so whatever comes by me, I'm gonna try and take it out. Oh, wait, I have one. Okay. Alright, it's good. Okay, back. We got killed. Well, they won't be, uh, popping back in that. Looks like there's a death. Yeah, copy. 
I'll agree with that one, Thunder. Definitely key there to get themselves to push into bad positions. It wasn't all bad positions. It was it kind of looked like there was a lot of miscommunication going on. But we'll never know because I can't hear the Russian side. A reminder that the enemy has significant uh, vehicle presence and uh, airborne assets. Don't keep your vehicles st uh, stationary. Radio has taken damage. Do we have it secured? All right, let's see here. Oh, Our radio is in the red. Man. Russians might be on the position. This has secured their enemies firing towards the front radio. Oh, that's a creeping barrage. Oh, that's not good. There are no enemies directly on the radio. Oh no! Down goes Decrum! Down goes Razor! Both sides get artillery, but it's locked behind us conditions, I think. Yeah, for rules. The fob is still up, but it looks like Londarts is closing in on it. There is no one for the British side around the fob. to your east and a second one I just saw like them popping up the hill. That, my friend, was a creeping barrage. It starts at one point and ends at another, continuously dropping artillery along that attacking line. Damn. It pretty much levels it anything. The into the building. Through the windows. Yeah? Yeah. Stand by. Nice. Ready to shoot through the building. Get green too. Just put an HE shot. Get yellow here. Infantry, oh, infantry. Contact, contact. Uh, 135, 135. Yes, you are allowed to leave the vehicles. It's not just a uh, vehicle op, it is also an infantry op. So if your vehicle is not effective for something you are trying to do, you can leave the vehicle. Shoot, shoot an HE round. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Oh, that was supposed to go higher. No, no, hit, hit the hill behind me. I got this one close behind this truck right here. Blondard's taken out. That was him. He turned around. No, there's another one. There was two. Put an easy shot right there. Yeah, just put an easy shot. Ooh. You know, a fence would not survive that, but... Mm. Yep, there he is. <laughs> I told you. And that is GG. Assault was the only one left. Alrighty then. We'll be back for round two shortly. Stick around. All right, we're back for round two. I'm going to go through this real fast to get us all up and um, going. 
So we're going to go over the commands for round two. It's uh, team swaps. So for the British side this time around, we have command being Decrum with his two IC being Razor, his three other SLs being Matt, Efank, and Frost. For the Russian side, we have Londarts with his two IC being Oddballs, three other SLs being Lemon Sledge, Stretch, and Flame Mage. With that out of the way, let's move on to the loadouts. For the first loadout, we have the British. For the British, we have squad infantry level one S Crewman SL, eight Crewman. Uh, platoon armory, none to start. There are rules for this. Uh, vehicles, two FV4034s and one FV510UA per squad. That is not two, two FV4034s for the whole team. That is two per squad. Keep that in mind. FOB and logistics. We have one FOB, one VEEK. Uh, Vic repair station, one ammo crate, two toes, two HMGs, and various defensive structures. Support, 155mm artillery creeping barrages, and three A-10 airstrikes, two 155mm smoke barrages. For the Russian side. And I do need to correct what I said during round one. I am completely incorrect. The Russian sides actually get no command support for that barrage. So... Oh boy, someone got royally screwed there at the last moment from a uh, from the uh, British assault. And I take that back. I'm wrong. My loadout slide here is also wrong. There is. It's just separated weirdly on the op dock. Anywho, moving on. Russian loadout. Infantry squad. Level 1 crewman's SL. And 8 crewmen. Platoon armory is, once again, none to start. There are rules carrying on. Vehicles, two T-72B3s and one BMP-2 per squad. FOB and logistics, one FOB, one vehicle repair station, one ammo crate, two cornets, two HMGs, and various defensive structures. For support, they get one 155 military... Uh, well, millimeter artillery creeping barrage, three SU-25 airstrikes, and two 155 millimeter smoke barrages. Now, once again, I'm going to repeat, I am wrong. They do get the same thing, equivalently the same thing as the British when it comes to support. Objectives for the night, starting with the British. Uh, British must capture or defend the supply outpost. British must defend the location of the radio till end of round. For the Russians, Russia must capture the supply depot. And once captured, defend it against Br uh, British assault. That's out of the way. I will now bring y'all in and we can listen to the fun, fun command talk over all their stuff. All right, everyone here, present and counted for. Awesome. Uh, good effort last round, guys. I mean, they had defenders advantage. Um, this round, uh, bad news is probably going to be they're going to have defenders advantage, just based on where the supply depot is. Uh, by our superb calculations in the leadership team, they will beat us there handsomely. Um, that is a uh, supply depot that was less behind over there to the uh, west in Charlie 10 from a, uh, a retreat. Uh, there's a lot of no man's land that we've got to cross to uh, assault it. If we can get into it first, then we will. Uh, but as I said, I would expect uh, the Russians to have the advantage in terms of uh, arriving at that location before we do. To get there, we're going to have uh, three of our squads, Oddball, Flame Mage, and Stretcher Squad. They're going to be uh, heading out to uh, across the bridge on India 8. I'm going to put a helicopter mark there. From there, they're going to head on the road and then take the train tracks and get set up in a position in Delta 8. I'm going to put a reinforcement marker there. Um, those three squads are going to turn, and the three red arrows that you see in Delta 8 and Delta 9, that's a huge open field. All right, great tank, tank country. Um, we're going to have a nice tight uh, platoon line there facing south, southwest. Uh, and we're going to roll it into the, uh, the enemy tank division. While that's going on, uh, Lemon has requested, uh, due to his uh, shorter than expected life expectancy last round, a slightly more um, flanky mission. So he's going to go up uh, around to the north and pop over uh, into Bravo 8. Uh, he's going to do that to protect our, uh, our north and our western flanks. Really simple plan. Um, our mission is to take control of that supply depot where you see all the lodgy trucks, secure it, kill all Russians that we see. Any questions? Awesome. Hopefully everyone had fun last round, and I think we're switching up drivers and gunners, so be patient with each other, and just uh, try and focus on comms, you know, and give a nice bearing, 
for where a target is and stay calm. It's always the best way to deal with uh, hectic situations. All right, guys, let's get ready for life. And we are live for round two of Operation Steel Serpent. We are definitely not going to be front of just it it does not look like we've got any any okay, mesh here. Get across the, uh, I've got three can, tanks right trying to form a conga here. Oh boy. Get in, get in with, um, get in with him too. Get in, get in. Dude, someone Wait. get in my fucking tank. Don't be an idiot. I'm so confused. Also, a reminder for anyone currently watching the stream, if you are in the round, please be sure you close out the stream until you have died. Please keep your uh, playing as sportsmanlike as possible. Uh, we do not tolerate cheating. That is the warning of the day. Anywho, good luck. Hi, Lee Decay. Um, or, my bad. I think that's Lead Decay. No, that's Lead. LED. Or LED Decay? I don't know. I'm just gonna call you Decay. Anywho, uh, to join these operations, you'll need to join our website and our Discord. If you join our Discord, there should be a walkthrough on how to sign up for our SOT and whatnot. You're required to take our SOT basic before you can join our operations. Okay. Oh, I missed it. I thought it was this bridge over here. It's fine. You can turn it rope. They're just going the rope track. Yeah, it's a little scary. Go 
get him, Dolphy. Oh, did you teleport? Go get him, water. Godspeed, guys. Right here. Go get him, Stretch. Hey, man, I'll look good there, man. Hey, I'll both. Yeah. Go get him. You want to lift? Ah, uh, just words of encouragement. Do you want to take uh, the west side now too, considering we're rear, rear of column, it would be beneficial we're gonna get for us to be on the east now of the uh, formation? It's up to you. Yeah, let's check out what the Russians are currently doing. As, uh, as much as I like the uh, sound of, of engines 24-7, this is... Uh, Oddball, would you go back east side? Yeah, figure out what the Russians are doing. We'll do west. It seems Looks like they're easier. already on point. Copy. Yeah, we're they're already by well. They're already I'm surrounded. Sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Pick up the middle. Yes, sir. Uh, Hardly vehicles start preparing for contact. Make sure you tighten the gap between you so you can all uh, not get isolated and get fire on at the same time. Hey, we're going to hold here for a minute to kind of get eyes. Roger. I'm just waiting for my tanks. Roger. Three, you're good to start moving if you're not in contact. Yeah, start moving west. Get ready to hook, uh, hook south. Pushing west. Roger, I'm about to drop smoke on their location to confuse them. Once this smoke starts to land, stretch. You see Western Spy Farm to your south? Or actually Delta 10 between there and Western Spy Farm? I need you to make sure nothing comes through that gap at us. Copy all. You got pretty good line of sight. Maybe we can bait them to start uh, cresting the hill to the south. Everyone's weapons free. Oh shit! And contact looks like we've got a contact. 
on Go one of our uh, VS. Start uh, hustling. Front stretch if you need if you need to fall back and just cover our uh, our east southeast. I'll leave it up to you. We're right. in front. Keep going. Keep going. There we go. Copy. Engaging me right now. My tanks are still up. He's hit twice. Roger. I'm looking for where that ground is coming from. I'll almost see it. Speed is going to be Delta 10-9. Delta 10 nine six, approximate. Uh, I don't want to move as like turn us around. Oh, down goes one of our FVs. Taken thing. out in one shot too. Someone got a nice hit. Up and taking some hits here. Alright, A10 going in on, I think, with a tank that just got blown up. Good work. Got it. We're still up. We lost the warrior, but we're all now. Roger. If you want to uh, get Eastern security, it's over there. Contact, train track, Charlie 9, I've... Charlie 9, 5, roger. Focus fire, Charlie 9, 5. 3, that's going to be due south of you when you get on the west side of 4. Charlie 9, 5, roger. Someone has just abandoned the tank. We have a tank close west. Charlie 8. Charlie 8. They need to take that guy out immediately. Charlie 8. We lose. Oh, okay, that's fine. They've lost the track. Okay. Squad 3. Three's here. That's We're two. And miles southeast. He's already cost us two tanks. Need him taken out. Down goes to Duty Rudy. Taken out. Uh, squad 5, contact due south of coast to your tanks, need assistance, they're at the train tracks, where the 810 is going now. 810 is where that tank is, I need someone to push it and take it out immediately. He's hurt. Oh, so we've been AFV and MBT taken out on the British side. MBT and uh, another MBT taken uh, out on the Russian. Right. Looks like what we've got we a close left? combat here. Uh, the LPPV. Uh, T-72 versus a FV. FV hey, is currently Charlie missing a track and not going anywhere. Roger. Try and get all your guys to fire on the same thing at once. And looks like... Oh! Two. Go ahead, two. Tank, be advised, we lost one. Roger, I'm looking at it. Yeah, we're back in. And we should be back on action in just a moment. It doesn't look like they've progressed. Oh, that's a lie. It does look like they've progressed quite a bit since we were down. It looks like the Russians are keeping a line, but it's kind of falling back here and there. Infantry, if someone could put a round on those rocks. to the west. We got tanks pushing us on the west. Roger. If you could take your infantry presence and maybe your tank and try and get some fire on those uh, those rocks, clear it out. Copy, I'll push it up. Check damage, check damage. What's up, guys?
Alright, damage is over. Try to reach away again. Revised command has one A10 left. So three and four if you got tank issues there and it's got a static vehicle request an airstrike. Is there any way to fix the glitch where you've got the ammo on your screen from a vehicle? Unsure, maybe hop back in, hop back out, but other than that, not sure. The stretch? They fell back off the hill when I engaged them. Just They're just on the southeast south side of it. Woods. Copy, southeast side. You able to engage them? Negative, no eyes currently, but we're trying to get to them. Coming in from our south southwest. Just bouncing it off the armor there. He's sloped just right for it to yeah, scrape nice. it. Oh, not so much for Nick and Aim. Or nickname, Nick of yeah, we'll Name. Nickname taken out. Leaving a Ducky and Flame Mage. Mage. Flame Mage and Ducky taking a slight amount of damage here. We're gonna move south and try to flank him, but we're on foot. Give me one more shot. Roger, you're bouncing around with the tanks. Infantry south of command. Yeah, if you can. He missed that one. Yeah, he did. How much health are we at? Uh, your turret is gonna Squad uh, 3, right. squad 4 is gonna try and move in from the uh, rest on foot. We don't have any AT left. Roger. We had a tank. I've got this bug, maybe if it gets fixed, I can get another hat round. Roger. So the British forces are pretty much stalled here by the Russians. I'm getting out. And this tank has lost all treads. There is no moving. Oh, I can't get a hat. Whew. I would just jump out at this point. Charlie 10 1 3. Southeastern 4. Charlie 10 1 3. We're running. I'm gonna use a field dressing real quick because. My last tank is tracked on the ridge currently. Roger. Bet to put my last airstrike on the one that did it to you. Airstrike coming on him. Five, if you could link up with two. Two, you got last remaining vehicle. There's a tank on the A10 mark. A10's about to land. There's also another tank to the west of that. Ooh, Kimchi's got uh, oddballs back there. Nice. And they're just screwing around with this BMP over here. T72 destroyed. And there goes another T72. There's another tank uh, west of objective. I think it's clear between uh, you and that uh, building to your southwest. Come on, copy. I'll see if I can get the again. Uh, no, it's on. Oddball. BMP active turret on my position. I need a tank or AT to come and assist. If possible. Roger, we have one tank. I'm out of assets. Hey, I have an enemy tank 25 meters to my northwest. We can't really do anything about that. We're gonna have to explain that. Roger. Two, you able to get Salty to move uh, southwest are, and put help. pressure on Charlie 10-6? There is two enemy vehicles out to the west near 3 and 4. We can attempt it. Yeah, 
That's definitely it. Yeah, he's right where our enemy, our, our vacant vehicle is at Bravo 1087. There's a tank chilling right next to it. Roger, are you able to break contact and head towards objective? Is that possible? Yes. Alright, BMP is just to my uh, southwest, about 80 meters, maybe less. This is going to be a problem for us. Salty, uh, sorry, Stretch, can you tell Salty to look at command? There's a BMP rolling by me on my south right now. He's heading east. Already got it going. He's gone past the burning 272 wreck. He's heading to you. There's two times BMPs with gunners active on my position. I fixed the glitch, but I can't get to the vehicle to rearm. It's not safe. Right, we have a tank at Bravo 1033 to our direct south. Roger. What the f? Oh, there's a coordinate right, in there. Sandbags on the hill, Charlie 10. Three six. Southwest of two, south of command. Oh no, it's not even a coronet. Deckron's over here, freaking rocket launcher on his back. If you can't find them, just shoot them. Shoot them with a big ass cannon. They either die from overpressure or the explosion. Currently, yes. Alright, you want to be pushing south, southwest, flank the infantry, take out the tank. There's another vehicle somewhere still roaming around out near a ball and the message. If that's the case, the tank's gonna hold back behind the infantry to uh, prevent being flanked. Because. Roger, you get prepared to shoot though, they're, they're going to be pretty open. Command's currently crawling in some nice wheat field, uh, getting close to the objective. Uh, if anyone can make it over here and crawl with me, that would be awesome. Two. I'm working on it. Two. We have still have a one possible BMP to our Go west somewhere. To the oh, you can't get out that way. Yeah, it's a little sandbag emplacement, Delta... Delta 10-1. Let's uh, see what else is left for the British forces. Wanda, yeah. it's out in the middle of the field. Not okay, unknown okay. there. Lemon uh, sledge. Uh, I've got a round in it. I can take Not in the best position here. With this thing. There's two times BMPs uh, just north of me near the uh, vehicle that I'm, I had. Uh, this is the second and, uh, round for a Yodi. Mobile still. Roger, you just want to take the target of opportunity, get what you can up there. Okay, yeah, if there isn't any tanks to the south. So, Lemon, uh, to my southeast here, southwest of five, is some sandbags. I believe the objective is probably just on the other side of that. Uh, be advised, the tank has two AP rounds left. Roger. Gonna make them count then. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna save them for the tank. If the tank is fully disabled, we'll take care of the BMPs. Oh, I see enemy tank. Down goes uh, Big Rago. I'm gonna engage it. It's due west if you direct. Grid reference Charlie 10, uh, 4, other side of the road, facing directly towards you to the east. Charlie 10, 4, Roger, so west of 3 almost. 
Hey, Lon, uh, I saw a guy coming up on you. Roger, direction for me. I missed the shot. Uh, north ish. North. Northeast. Oh, fuck. It might have been you, but your name didn't pop up. Alright, infantry, try and stay in as much cover as you can with all these uh, tanks running around. The T-72 is actually to my northwest, north now. Northwest of you, Salty. It's in the open. Can you copy? Yeah, can you get shot on him? Try and track him. He's, 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 he's still now. Due North Command, Charlie 933. See if Salty Toast can t Oh, down Would you goes Lawn Darts. Hey, I'm rolling up from you guys to northwest. Crawling. Take the shot. And that's a good shot. MAT 72 destroyed. Good shit. Is there one to your west still? There's one to my east. I can hear it. Roger. You sure you're just not hearing us? You know, uh, I can't tell to be honest it's with like you. It's like all we've got left is Scottish There's chap, I think. One times crewman to the northwest, guys, like across open fields. So keep up for that. Um, I'll borrow uh, my guys need ammo. We can use this uh, this little vehicle here, the Fox Sound, as like a rabbit. We can try and push. Tonight's out op any, was an uh, armor op. Um, kind of a reach the point and defend the point type deal. Um, yeah, it's pretty even right. on both Just sides with what their loadouts were. It's kind of a mirror between the Russians and the British quickly. forces. Attack and defend. All right, so we got Scottish chap out there in the middle of nowhere. Is there anyone else new? No, no there's not. It looks like <laughs> this is all that's left. Hey, what do you want me to do? Um, just sit tight. I I need to get a um a squad leak kit. I think to place down the uh, the airdrop. Copy, I'll watch maybe yourself. you could do it. Can anybody else do it, maybe? Are they trying to use an airdrop on Scottish here? Oh, uh, that's going to be dirty. I really wish I knew what he was saying right now. I could change teams real fast. But I might miss it because I'm going to have to come from their spawn. Hey, be advised, I am out at your shot for local. Somebody put down a, uh, a request marker to the west so we can get this airdrop in. I can't do it because I've got a hat kit on me. Uh, and I ain't got squad lead capabilities, oh, but it. you should. Just put down a command request mark. And we can get the the asset in, and we can build our depot. <laughs> That's one way of doing it, Scaff Bob. We can actually rearm and repair the uh, the t the Challenger, I believe. The quest is down. Nice. Bob, is that the right spot? Yeah, that's fine. Hey, if I die, someone's coming from your south, all right? Okay, we can put down a repair station and, and fucking um, get ammo back and everything. So <clears throat> so we should be pretty prepped if we get this fob down. So let's just wait the for the challenger. Effort. The challenger will stay back until you guys get most of the defenses built since we're a pretty big target. Yeah, that's good. Sounds good. 
Looks like. Do you want to tell Assault to like drive about? Drive about Materials have been dropped in. So he could come and give me cover at this airdrop. Copy. Sadly, that mod doesn't exist. Not in this game. Hey, I'm coming back. I don't want to be seen as lone wolfing. No, actually, it might. I think there's a mod we could butcher, but. Hey, uh, our tank is out of fuel, quote unquote, yeah. and so we have to abandon it. That would be a lot of radio traffic. You would have to figure out who you're listening to at all given moments. So it's it's sort of best just to keep it one team. Can't place a flop down due to uh There is such thing as too much information. Put down a radio. We can't put down a radio because of uh, not always valid. I need a logistics vehicle. Okay, guys, we're all stacked up here. If an enemy comes in, we're all fucked. Hey, fire from the southwest, fire. close. Yeah, okay. oh, I was about to fucking head tapping. That might be it. Let's keep it. And don't go for rather scotch chap. Yeah, and I think that was it. That's GG. It's like Scottish and Grunt took each other out. Alrighty then. Well, with that out of the way, that was a very long end to round two that didn't really need to exist. Anyways, what happened there is my power kind of flickered out and I had to wait for everything network-wise to reboot. Computer wasn't having an issue because I have a backup battery. With that out of the way, I have been Killer Man Time. This has been Squad Ops and I hope you all have a fantastic afternoon day to whatever time it is for you. Anyways, bye!